Lord is just a liar. Just a Robin Moore. Just don't do no lies. Just is gonna bring you numbers. Just for the mess of my music career. On the Breakfast Club. I know they know the difference. Keep it a stack. She watched the news last night, y'all. She was right, look, excited. I, I super duper excited. Yeah, I don't need no disclaimer. Listen. So. <laughs> Rare solo eclipse is coming. Okay. So a solo eclipse will be happening April 8th. And people, did, not enough people was talking about this. Everybody talking about, you know, Trump and Biden and all that and, and the sofa and the Meek couch. Mill. But yeah, Meek Mill, mm -hmm. Diddy, mm -hmm. all these people. Mm -hmm. But the solo eclipse is very, very interesting. And I have um, a report from... They need to say it was like, oh yeah, Fox 9. Go ahead, play it. For Next me. month, people across the United States are in for a special treat. A that. solar eclipse will be visible across much of the country. For 15 states, that means the moon will completely cover the sun, briefly turning day into night. And there will not be another one now until 2044. Now, when people, like, when this happened in the past, it literally happens for, like, seconds or half a second mm -hmm. or whatever. Like, I remember the last one that happened. I was, like, I was very, very young. And it's just, like, it happens within the blink of an eye. But this one is supposed to be from one minute to four minutes and 32 seconds in some states. Now, it's the the uh, path of totality is wider than usual, which means Americans will be able to experience the solar eclipse. This is also crazy. I'm not going to tell y'all what. I'm not going to give y'all the, the Wikipedia one. This is this. Well, is four minutes is a long time. That is it? a long time. Everybody needs to tap into some solar eclipse rituals uh, to, to manifest your intentions because new moons symbolize new beginnings and solar eclipses give you uh, an extra boost for transformation in our lives. So make that happen. All right. So that's the good. That's the good part about it. But the governments of certain states have been advising their residents to prepare with emergency prep. Like it's people with they're, they're closing down schools yep. and they're scared that it'll be a lot of tourists flocks like people flying away to see this like mm -hmm. I you know are getting closer to see it now the path of totality will cover some parts of Mexico and some parts of Canada also listen up this is the 15 states here Texas Oklahoma Kentucky New York New York New York, New York y'all <laughs> Arkansas Tennessee Missouri Illinois Ohio Indiana Michigan Pennsylvania Vermont New Hampshire and Maine. And listen, Delta is also offering flights for an up close experience of the total eclipse 30,000 feet in the air from uh, Austin, Texas to Detroit. I thought you're not supposed to look at it though. That's what yeah, I thought. Exactly. They must go have them glasses. They now, that's glasses, another thing. Yes. If you plan to look at the solar eclipse, you're encouraged to wear eclipse glasses, y'all. I'm sorry, messy, messy visions. The, we dropped the ball on this. We do not have eclipse, uh, eclipse glasses, but I'm pretty sure you can find them anywhere. Do not look directly at it because something will happen to you. We can still sell eclipse glasses, though. All we got to do is get us a bunch of 3D glasses. I don't and just know. tell people it's for the uh, eclipse. Also, oh, you're purposely it, it, trying to hurt people out there. Yeah, okay. yeah, you don't want to hurt people's eyes. No, yeah. but, then you, but you tell them don't look, in, don't look directly into it. Just put them on. And then just, you know just, these just, Americans going to do exactly what you say don't do. But that's why they want to close the schools. That's what they're thinking about closing some of the yeah. schools because they were like the students will be looking at the sky. But if you keep them home, hopefully they'll stay in the house. I mean, it's spooky enough that it's it going to be in the middle of the day and it's just going to go and dark. And it's going to be four it's minutes. Be dark, yeah. yeah, the kids so, going to lose it anyway. So I don't know. I'm going to be, I plan to be in Baltimore that day because it's not going to do that in Maryland. All right. Maryland wasn't one of the 15 states, but New York is. Kids, so. pets, they're going to lose their mind for mm -hmm. those four minutes. Listen, Absolutely. what? Do you understand? That's crazy, y'all. So y'all. What else just... you saw in the news? Okay, <laughs> listen. Uh oh. Now this is the headline that I'm, I'm, <laughs> that I, I thought of. Y'all can't take nothing serious, but for real, yo. Cause you so excited about What's this. What's going on in the kingdom? What Who's kingdom? kingdom? Hmm. The royal kingdom, y'all. So I talked to some friends over. I got some connects in the UK. And listen, <laughs> Kate lying. Middleton. She ain't got no oh friends over there. Just, come on, listen, listen, right, listen. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Kate Middleton, Prince William's wife, right? She had abdominal surgery oh my in God, no. January. Yes, she did. She had abdominal and surgery. Abdominal, abdominal surgery. Abdominal? surgery. <laughs> All right, so that's why oh, stomach or whatever, stomach. Okay. right? And the last time people have seen her was in uh, December. Now, granted, it was reported that she wouldn't return to her royal duties until Easter, right, because of her recovery or whatever. But people are realizing that she hasn't been seen since December. Oh, my God, no. Yeah, there are stories that she left the hospital with Prince William the same day as the procedure, but on, but the photos only show Prince William leaving. Ain't we ain't see her or nothing, right? Now, this seems innocent, but this actually is interesting because people online are starting to piece the story together that Kate Middleton is either missing or in a bad condition following the surgery. Uh-oh. I don't need the sound effects. Look, now Sunday in the UK, it was Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. It's different over here, but over there is Mother's Day, right? Right. And a photo was released of Kate and her three children. Uh, major media publications initially shared the photo, but they all started to remove them with the explanation that they can't be shared because it was obviously altered. All right? Photoshop experts determined that they were 16 editing 
errors in in the picture. So people, you know, you know how people on social media is. They see the walls moving and all that mm-hmm, type of stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Shortly after that, Kate tweeted an apology. Kate herself, really, from her account, Uh-oh. allegedly. Okay. Um. Yeah, I threw that in there. She <laughs> she tweeted an apology, claiming that she occasionally experiments with editing, and she said like with any e- other photographer with edibles with editing. Edibles. I'm like, oh. girl, where's you at? Like, you're not letting us know what's going on or nothing, mm-hmm. but you're gonna take the to- social media to be like. I be, you know, I be editing a little bit. Girl, please. Right? Maybe that's her way of letting people know she's all right. Mm-mm-mm. I don't know. But listen, this is also crazy, too, because a man close to Kate's family committed suicide. More, more, more in depth. Her sister's man. This wasn't her husband. This was just her, like somebody her sister was dealing with, you know, mm-hmm. her boyfriend. And um, he committed suicide out of nowhere. Mm. Prince William went to the funeral, but she didn't. Kate, she didn't show up. And that's her sister. All right. People are speculating that because of these things, there's a deeper story to Kate's Mother's Day photo being, you know, being photoshopped. And mm-hmm. then it was also, they also put out a photo where she was leaving the castle. But you can tell even by the bricks, the bricks, it wasn't it, like it wasn't she was the castle. Putting, castle. It, it wasn't. It, nope. Mm-hmm. Nope. It, it wasn't was, given. It was not given. She really walked about that castle. Mm. All right. <laughs> and it's also rumored that King Charles has cancer and is opting to treat it naturally. Holistic, Dr. Sebi? I ain't yeah. say that. I, it's probably, I ain't talk, I ain't next to you, my UK friends, all that. Okay. Now, it's also reported that the queen left two letters behind right before she died. One for her top eight and one for her son with instructions that it shouldn't be open until 2085. Mm. I can't wait to be on the radio 2085. Listen, <laughs> there's a lot going on with the royal family right now. We don't know how many of these stories are actually true, but we do know that this is a PR nightmare for the royal family. That and was just with the UK mess. This is ju- yeah. Can we drop a bomb? And, and I don't just... know if any of her UK news is real. Oh my god! But it I just... did see I did see that picture on MSNBC. Uh huh. Yup. And I, I bet that. you go back and it ain't mm-hmm. on there no more because they they can't be doing stuff like that because it's been altered honestly. But I'm just the moral of the story is. Even from the grave, the queen is still she still got something going on. All right. Okay. I'm telling you, that I just unfinished okay. business. <laughs> the UK edition. It's like a bunch of stuff going on in the kingdom, y'all. So <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all know as we get updates from over there. Hey, that's from her UK connects. <laughs> yes. yes. Her UK <laughs> connects. Y'all not the only that means they're from Baltimore. Yeah. <laughs> they're from Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> All right. When we come back, we got front page news, and then Steve Wilkos will be joining us at the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.